2023 is coming to an end. And if you're looking for a way to be more productive and mindful at the same time, bullet journal is the method for you. Hello friend, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a digital bullet journal entirely in the Procreate app. This video it's about how to create a digital replica of the bullet journal notebook and not about explaining how the bullet journal method works. If you are looking to know more about the bullet journal method, I will leave the link to, to the bullet journal channel in the description. Also, for designing this digital bullet journal, I'm going to be using some of the tools and resources I sell on my Etsy shop. So if you want to follow me along, I will leave the link to those in the description down below. So. To start, let's create a canvas at 150 dpi. The aspects of the digital bullet journal are also going to be in the description and you can download them for free. I'm going to start by adding the mockup notebook. I'm going to be using the traveler's notebook that I sell in my Etsy shop. But first, note that I want this bujo to be as close as possible to the original method. So in this case, I'm going to add a cover, a key page, intentions page, index page, and the daughter grid pages, that is when I'm going to be journaling. In the first layer, I'm going to be importing the cover and using the papers and notes brushes, I'm going to add a sticky note where I'm going to write stuff, maybe a nice quote. Remember to group the layers you want to appear in the same page. In the next one, I'm going to add the page with the poker in landscape. This notebook comes both in portrait and landscape FYI. This page is one of my favorite because I like to add paper clips and embellishments to my journals. And in the paper side, I'm going to be adding the key page. Using the text feature, I'm going to add a title and the usual method keys dot for tasks, dash for notes, and circle for events. And I also want to add keys for video ideas, product ideas, and newsletter topics. In the next layer, I'm going to add the open book with both paper pages. In this page, I'm going to be adding the index where I'm going to write the content of the bullet journal. To this page, using the notebook paper pattern brushes, I'm going to add ruled paper using gray color. You can make two or more index pages depending on how big your notebook is going to be. As this is an example, I'm just going to add one two pages spread. For the journaling pages, I'm going to be using the same open book with the notebook paper pattern brushes. This time, I'm going to be using the daughter grid pattern because it gives me the freedom to add lines and make different layouts when using it. Now that I have all the layouts ready, I'm going to export them and I'm going to add some hyperlinks on Keynote. I'm going to be using any templates because I'm going to customize the file to fit the layouts I made in Procreate. To customize the file, go to presentation name, presentation options, presentation setup, slide size and custom. Here, I'm going to add the size of the files I made in Procreate but in points. Remember that the specs are in a link in the description. Then, I'm going to import all the layouts from my camera roll in this order. Cover, key page with pocket, intention page, index page, and journaling page. Then, I'm going to copy and paste the journaling page 19 times, so I have a total of 20 pages. You can make your bullet journal with as many pages as you want. Remember to add more index pages to fit the journaling pages amount. Then, I'm going to add the hyperlinks like this. In the index section, add a rectangle to cover the first line. I'm going to add a number, and a link to go to the first journaling page. Then I'm going to copy and paste this rectangle 
and place it in the next line. This one has to go to, to the next journaling page. Do this until you have as many hyperlinks as pages you have in the bullet journal, adding also the number. Now, in the journaling pages, I'm going to add a number using the text feature and using a symbol shape like a house, I'm going to add a hyperlink back to the index page. I have to copy and paste the number and the house in every journaling page. And I'm going to add the house also to the key page and the intentions page. When I have everything ready, I'm going to export this bullet journal as a PDF file using the single page. Remember to include backgrounds and each stage of builds and leave the quality at best. I'm going to export directly to my GoodNotes app for playing with the journal. But this time in another video, I'm going to show you how I set up my bullet journal. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process of me creating this digital bullet journal. Remember that the tools I use for creating this tutorial and the specs are in, in a link in the description along with the bullet journal channel that you can look to get more information about the method and also if you haven't seen my last video i have an ongoing series where i design different type of stickers in the procreate app and the last video it was about creating bullet journal stickers so if you want to check that one out i will leave the link here and in the description down below again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Bye.